The natural health industry has been growing for over two decades. Instead of pharmaceutical drugs, Canadians can choose a different path to good health if they wish. But there's one really important place where the two ways to wellness differ. Your wallet. And the powers that be don't seem to be budging. Yeah. Mary Ashton is an actor, that, uh, a mother, yes. and a natural sure health enthusiast. It's basically, this is a kombucha hotel. She relies on natural medicine to, to help her with breastfeeding. And because of that, she's adding her name to a petition to change natural health products to make them HST free. It's harder work to do the natural route, so I think naturally you should be rewarded, and I think waiving the tax is one way of doing that. I mean, it's just not, I mean, common sense would just say it's not fair. It's on the right, it's the first thing on your left side. Right? At this independent drugstore, pharmacist Suha Moorhead argues tax-free status should stay reserved for studied drugs, not natural health products. But what are sold in these places is not the pure, uh, it's not pure, there is no uh, definite concentration, uh, you don't know what exactly you're taking. Advocates who want the HST eliminated from natural health products often use iron as an example to highlight the disparity between prescription and non-prescription drugs. If you go to a pharmacy and pick iron off the shelf, you'll pay tax at the counter. If you go to a doctor and are diagnosed with anemia and you get a prescription for iron pills, then you don't pay tax. Natural health specialist Dr. Zoltan Rona thinks that money is the reason the government is staying deaf to letters and petitions. But basically the Conservative government has been very, um, you know, uh, biased in favor of the pharmaceutical industry virtually at every, at every issue. So, you know, I don't expect them to do very much. Back at Ashton's, it's time for some herbal tea, which she reminds, because it's a beverage... The elixir of life. <laughs> is tax-free. For Say News, David Brennan. Despite their different approaches, the experts I spoke to did share one thing in common. They want a clean bill of health for their patients. It's a refreshing thing to hear, no matter what side of the wellness war you're on. Gia? David, the petition is addressed to Finance Minister Jim Flaherty. Now that he's resigned, what are the chances his replacement could see the issue with a fresh set of eyes? Well, Gia, Joe Oliver is the new finance minister, but political experts say he'll keep the party line on all economic issues until at least the next federal election. I asked Dr. Rona what he thought, and his answer? Don't hold your breath. Back to you.